Hi, as Miles said, I'm Lawrence Coburn. I'm with uh, Rate It All. Anybody heard of Rate It All before? Just a, a couple quick things about the site that you may not know. Um, it's sort of like a long tail consumer rating site. So sort of like a, a weird cross between Yelp and ePinions and, and all kinds of weird sites that don't exist on the web. So you can rate things like San Francisco taquerias, you can rate blogs, you can rate beer. You can also rate like the best deaths in Star Wars. So the strange thing about Rated All, it's, it's other people creating the channels to rate. So we have about 28,000 of these little ratings channels across every subject that you can imagine. We're profitable. Uh, Quantcast ranks in the top uh, 2,000. I'm sorry, the top 3,000 websites, uh, U.S. websites on the web. So I'm not. I don't really want to talk about that stuff because we've been doing that stuff for a while. What I want to talk about is, is the problem with this site and, and the problem with consumer rating sites in general. I think the biggest problem about consumer rating on the web is that you have to go to that consumer rating site to rate something. It's not in flow. So if you're I don't know, if you're on a politician page and, and you want to rate that politician, you can't do it on that page. You have to go all the way over to rate it all. It's just not natural, I don't think. So what we've tried to do, um, and what we've spent the last five months developing, yeah. is something that we're calling a distributed rating widget. And it looks pretty simple. Uh, this is a blog that I write about widgets called Sexy Widget. I don't know if anybody reads that. Uh, but what, what this widget is doing here is it's provi providing all of Rated All's rating and social media functionality within a very small footprint of the widget. So let me give you an example. Um, you can actually type a review into this widget without ever going to Rate It All. It simultaneously posts on Rate It All. You can also, I'll do that in a second, you can also click on the community tab, see the other people that have rated this blog, and we actually have like 23 people during our, our beta testing that have rated it. Clicking through will take you to their profile, so it's a little like my blog log in that sense. You can actually read all of the reviews here, so you can scroll through. Wow, man, I love Sexy Widget, it's a great blog. This review is from me. Um, so just scrolling through, cool, this is nice, great site, this widget sucks ass, uh, undefined, undefined. So we were in a closed data, uh, beta testing period. But the point is, this is a fully functional read-write widget. Uh, I showed it to Richard McManus over at Read Write Web, and he agreed with me that it's the first fully read-write widget on the web. So it's a pretty powerful thing. It looks pretty simple. It took a long time to develop this. So what's in it for the publisher? So you get full consumer rating functionality in seconds. You can post it to your site. You get social media features. You get community features. And you also get traffic. I want to show you how that works. Um, so I mentioned to you that Rate It All is a pretty high traffic site. We did over a million visits last month. So like a dig, we have the power to send traffic back to people that use our widgets. So if your widgets are getting rated on Rate It All, if, if you set up a widget for your blog, a feedback widget, you automatically get added to the Rate It All blog directory. Widgets that get the most ratings every hour get show up in our hottest blogs uh, uh, ch channel, which appears almost run of sight on the, on the site. So right now, as of today, we're delivering about 40, 45,000 free impressions per day to folks that are trialing our, our feedback widget. So I'm going to give you a URL at the end of this uh, that you can actually go and try this widget out. And I think we can drive your readers like from day one because uh, the word isn't out yet. So, okay, so there's a simultaneous posting that happens. Like I told you that when someone leaves a review about your blog, you never have to go to rate it all. So what do we get out of it? We get the content. So if someone writes a review of your blog on your blog, the review simultaneously posts on Rate It All, where we monetize it through ad networks and things like that. So we're starting off with blogs, blog feedback. We're going to move into local businesses. We also have a local business directory, so you can kind of think of like a, a distributed sort of Yelp. Um, we're also going to do politicians, bands. Like I showed you the, the breadth of things that you can rate on Rate It All. We're going to do all of that. So right now, 100% of our rating happens on RatedAll.com. Hopefully six months from now, I'll come back for a third presentation, and hopefully I'll, I'll tell you guys that 90% of the rating is happening on other sites. So that's, that's the goal. Um, to show you a couple more things here, this is just, the, again, the hottest blog module. And then finally, um, very simple, ugly configuration tool that fortunately produces a, a pretty nice looking widget, I think. So you get eight colors, you get your narrow sidebar option, Preview. Yeah, so you can customize it pretty well um, to match the look and feel of your blog. 
we can actually do a rating if we, or we can do that afterwards I guess if I'm out of time but I just want to share with you that that URL um, so if you go to ratedall.com widgets uh, you can pull one of these uh, rating widgets for your own blog try it out we'll drive you some traffic see if your community appreciates uh, the ability to give you feedback as a blogger and, and that's it uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions okay. so five people are actually using the star rating system <coughs> Uh, they have to use it. in terms of this widget. They have to use it. If you try and submit a review without a star rating, it, it sends you back. Um, but yeah, are you guys looking at other algorithms, uh, tracking clicks, and stuff like that. We we do like most of our algorithms are around. Um, like I didn't show you the main part of the site, which is like a top twenty list where it shows in order of rankings. So that's why we force the number rating. So things that we're looking at is if a if a website only has one rating and it's a five, should it really be at the top of the list kind of thing? So those sorts of things are what we're looking into. Yeah. Do you think that your widgets would create a lopsided, you know, thing of a bunch of good reviews? Because a person with a bad website that's getting bad reviews isn't going to keep it up. At least I wouldn't think so. Yeah, and, and that's true. And and what we've seen, like I actually started this site in 1999, and it's kind of been like a little side project for years and years and years. And what we've seen is, is it's an educational pro practice for, for people. Like we've seen, like back in 99, e-commerce sites didn't want to have consumer reviews on their site because people could blast the products. And now every e-commerce site has consumer reviews because even a negative review will add credibility to your service. So I'm hoping we see the same thing with, with bloggers and local businesses, actually. Are you working on a plugin in Firefox? Because in that widget, you have to put the site and it goes inside. So in my browser, then I can uh, like rate whatever site I want. You know? It should be fixed. Uh, as of four o'clock today, it was fixed. So in the back. Yeah. So so we asked about an increase in traffic to the site since we launched the widget, and specifically about the backlink in each in each widget. And that's a great question. To be honest, the backlink is a big part of it. We're not getting traffic or clicks. We're getting content and backlinks. So if you look really quickly at this page, if you look at the bottom of this widget, it says, in HTML, a plain te text link here. It says Web 2.0 blocks on Rated All. We're obviously trying to rank for the term Web 2.0 blocks. And if you, if you blow that out to every category, um, things like, Digital cameras on rated all, hotels in Mexico on rated all. It's going to help our organic search rankings for everything, and that's a big piece of it. Um, we haven't launched this yet. We're launching tonight, so we haven't seen a big jump yet. But that's uh, that's definitely part of the plan. White shirt. If anyone can add a review, how do you prevent spam? How do you keep these departments across sites? Yeah. So. Um, We've been doing this a long time. We have a team of uh, 10 moderators that, that, that scan every review that comes in the site. And we're pretty open about it. Like, we, we don't delete negative reviews. The only things we'll ever delete are excessive pro profanity and uh, totally off-topic comments. So if it's not one of those things, we'll let it stand. In terms of remembering preferences across the site, if you're logged into one rated all widget, you're logged into all of them. It doesn't log you in automatically to ratedall.com, um, but it does log you into all of them. One other point is that we revenue share on reviews. So if you review, if you review something on a blog, it shows up on Rated All. You can plug in your AdSense ID, and you're earning money uh, whenever that review gets syndicated around the way. Black star. No, it's not post by post. So there's there's companies like Spotback and uh, a few others that are going post by post. We're not into that. We're just actual feedback on the overall blog. Okay. Can you cut, like can you customize? Like, can can somebody say exactly what they want rated? Like, yes. We have the product rated enough, like the design of the site rated. You can right now um, on Rated All. You can launch a, tra a channel of anything that you want to cover, and then create widgets out of any of those listings. So you can create a widget for absolutely anything that you want, and you can do that today. Um, so you can customize, you can customize look and feel. We're working on it's like sort of like an API that will let folks add in batch across thousands of like consumer product listings so, all at once. So when you want rated, does that just come as a marquee up there, like it says rate six? Correct. Seven, so you can just say yeah, you customize that during the configuration process. Anything else?
Can you figure out who rates what? Like, do you have a trusted group of friends? 